What's up guys, this is Tyler with RevRides and today we're going to be unboxing the VSET 8. This video is going to show you everything it takes to get out of the box and onto the road. So let's get to it. We're going to start by opening our box. In the box you'll find our RevRides packet. This has your user manual, some stickers, a warranty registration card, and then your QC checklist here. Every scooter at RevRides is quality controlled to make sure that's perfect out of the box. We've got some universal reflectors, your charging brick, your charging cable, and then your VSET toolkit. This is going to have everything you need to get out on the road. To unfold the scooter, we're going to pull the folding lever, lift straight up on the handlebars, and then once up, we're going to put one foot on the scooter deck and firmly push forward until the locking pin is in place. Take your handlebars, bring them straight up. Take the quick release clamp loose, raise the handlebars all the way up, tighten the quick release nut until snug, and then clamp this down. You don't want this to be too tight, just enough to where the handlebars don't slide down. You can now take this loose, adjust the handlebars to your proper height, and clamp it back down. Use the provided toolkit to tighten the LCD. You want to tighten these until snug and do not over tighten them. And then rotate the LCD into position. And then just make sure that the throttle and brake do not interfere with each other. Check that both brakes are working, push both levers and give a firm push forward. The VSET 8 has a solid rear tire that does not require air. The front tire should be inflated to 45 to 50 psi. It's a good idea to check this before each ride to ensure that you don't get a flat tire. Plug the charger into the outlet. Plug the charger into the scooter. Be sure to align the notch on the charger with the notch on your charging port. And then thread the locking fastener on. The LED on the charger will turn red, indicating that your scooter is charging. Once fully charged, the LED will turn green. To power on the scooter, hold the power button, and then scan one of your key cards. We can provide replacement key cards as long as you have one of your original key cards. Hold the plus button to turn on or off the lights and then use the plus or minus button to move through the gears. And use either of these buttons to turn on the left or right turn signal. By default, kickstart is enabled, which means that the throttle won't do anything on its own. To engage the throttle, give a firm kick forward and lightly pull the trigger. 
All right, so that should be everything you need to get out riding. Be sure to wear a helmet. If this video helped out, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you still have questions, contact us at RevRides.com, your trusted source for recreational electric vehicles. I'm Tyler with RevRides. Peace.